Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade if you haven't been here before and today I'm going to bring you a Home Bargains haul. So it's been a little while since I've been to Home Bargains or if I've been I've just literally picked up one or two bits so not really worth showing but I picked up a few bits this time and a couple of things I just think are worth showing to you. Um, I know a lot of you like just seeing like random little purchases for the home um, so why not? If you've been following me for a while, you will know that I'm actually quite a big Home Bargains fan, a B&M fan, like a lot of people, because I just love that they do a lot of things affordable. Um, but yeah, but just before we start, let me just say, excuse the way I look, I have had a day of just like tidying and cleaning, and so I haven't bothered like ironing my shirt or anything, because I'm not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, excuse what I look like, but you know. I'm not here to look pretty, I'm here to show you stuff. So the annoying thing is I don't have the exact prices of a lot of these products because I apparently didn't get a receipt, or at least I can't find it in my bag, and I always ask for one, so that's really strange. I do roughly remember the prices though, so I will tell you roughly what I think they cost, and uh, yeah, before I ramble anymore, let me show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was kind of the reason I went in there, and that was this set of hangers. It's a 10 pack of velvet hangers. Honestly, they feel so nice. Um, you can get these in a lot of places, but I do find Home Bargains is definitely the cheapest. I want to say they were only three pounds. Um, I'm sure they were like 2 dollars maybe 3 dollars um, But yeah, really, really cheap for these. Um, I've honestly seen like packs of five going for like ten pounds of these before, um, and they s feel super good quality, no worse than anywhere else. Um, so yeah, it's literally just a ten pack of hangers, but honestly, best place to get them. Okay, so the second thing I got was something you would have seen in a past Home Bargains haul if you've watched my others, and that was this drumstick squashies dry shampoo um so if you've watched me for a while you know i love drumstick squashies and i bought these dry shampoos quite a long time ago there was the regular squashies and this bubblegum one i do like the regular one but the bubblegum dry shampoo just smells divine i adore the smell of it it's so nice um so i have just got this one to uh replace my dry shampoo because i am running low and uh, yeah, I would honestly recommend these if you like use like Batiste or something, they work as well. I think, um, I don't know if more expensive dry shampoos work better because I don't find they work like super well. Um, but yeah, let me know if you know more about dry shampoo. I also picked up another hair product and that was this, which is the Schwarzkopf, Schwarz, the Schwarzkopf Pro Styling Heat Protection Spray. Um, I was really in need of a new heat protectant spray because my other one started leaking um, and I just spotted this in there. I want to say this was a... I want to say this was 2 dollars I might be wrong but I think it was. Um, but hopefully it works super well. I mean it's just to protect my hair at the end of the day. I don't know the difference between expensive ones and not because I've only ever bought cheap heat protection, not gonna lie. So I have very combination skin, but overall it gets a very dry look to it, you know, especially with foundation on. Um, so I do like to try and look after my skin well, but I will say that too much moisturizer definitely brings me out um, with blemishes. So it's a really hard thing getting the balance, but what I find really helps is using a face mask. I have tried a lot of face masks that Home Bargains sell, and my favourite by far are the Garnier ones. Um, you don't, you can get them in lots of other places. They're a little pricier than some of the ones they do sell in Home Bargains, but I do think they are the best. So I picked up a couple of different ones, um, one of them of which I have not tried. So the first one that I picked up is the one I didn't try before, and this is the Moisture Bomb Mask, but the Super Hydrating and Replumping Mask. I've not tried one that has the replumping stuff, um, I just think it will be really good though, like I honestly I love these masks, they work really well, you just put them on your face for 15 minutes, they're like one of the sheet masks, so nice and easy to use, literally just 15 minutes and obviously make sure your face is really clean first before using it, but honestly it has helped my skin so much. I also grabbed the super hydrating and anti-fatigue version, I have used this one many times and I always find it really 
gives my skin a nice healthy glow afterwards so what more can you want I want to say they are £1.50 or £1.99. They're definitely not more than £2 though, which I don't think is bad for something that does actually work. And the next thing I got is a little more boring, but you know, I'm sharing it with you, everything I got. And that is this pack of four toothbrushes, Colgate. Um, so I generally have an electric toothbrush and I have one sort of like permanent, better quality, non-electric for when I forget to charge it, because I do that a lot. Um, but these are always useful to have so I want to have a spare one so I can take it like when I go traveling um, I needed a new traveling one because mine was just a bit old and then I often actually use cheaper toothbrushes to clean um, honestly trying to get in all those little places is just so much easier with a toothbrush so I always go and buy like a pack of reasonably priced um, toothbrushes from home bargains and use them to their death so last year I bought a reed diffuser from, from Home Bargains that I really, really loved. Um, I think I definitely mentioned it before. I think it was called Island Bliss and it sort of had like this picture of a beach on. It was by Wickford & Co. Well, it sort of vanished out of there because I imagine it's more like a summer scent. And um, I went in there and I found this. Um, which is called Beach Days, but it has exactly the same picture, it's just got a different name, so I'm hoping it is the same one. Um, they're really reasonable, I think they're like $1.99, and I sometimes find cheaper reed diffusers don't really diffuse a smell very m well. I will even say for like, the one I liked of this, it didn't last super long. I would say it really diffused the smell for like a couple of weeks, a week two weeks like and then I can't really smell it anymore but I for $1.99 I think that's really good because I feel like a lot of others that do diffuse well are more in the range of like £10 so and you know they don't last like five times the length of this so yeah hopefully this is the same one but if not hopefully it's nice because I do love a lovely smelling house so I also got another root diffuser. Now this one is from the Lux collection. It looked like a new display in my home bargains. It didn't yet have prices on, um, but it had a peony one and I often quite like that scent, like that sort of floral sort of scent. So I decided to just buy it, um, not knowing what the price was. It couldn't have been that expensive because my whole bill, I think, in the shop was like only £17. So it definitely couldn't have been that much money. Um, hopefully it diffuses well. I'm not really sure what this one looks like. It just sort of like has the frosted glass, um, but I'm not quite ready to use it yet, so I don't want to open it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is nice. They have a really good collection of um, reed diffusers at the moment. And also if you're into your wax melts or you want to try them, mine now have like a literally a dedicated area just to that um, with lots of different wax melts you can try and quite a few cheap burners. I already have enough. I've bought a few from there before. But yeah, just in case you wanted to try it, I thought I'd mention it. So I have a few birthdays coming up that I've had to buy for and I needed some wrapping paper. I often get wrapping paper from Home Bargains and I often actually get the rolls because they're better value but I saw this pack of like this marble sort of like effect um, sheets. There's two sheets with two gold tags and it's just actually like white marble but with like these gold splashes through and I just thought this was really really pretty and it, this one's only 79p so for two sheets and two tags I thought that was really nice for something that actually looks quite expensive. There was also a bag of the same pattern but pink um, so I also picked that up and this was only 69 pence it's one of like the sort of like medium sized bags but like you know nearing on large but not the huge ones um, and I just thought this was really cute and girly and would be good for someone's gift. Okay, we are now on to the final product, um, and this one is an edible one. I think I often have at least one in there. Um, obviously, I'm trying to be good and not eat too much crap. <laughs> Sorry, excuse the language. But um, I had to get these. They had these tiny little boxes of Hello Panda. I love Hello Pandas. Um, I think the strawberry are my favorite, and these are just the chocolate ones, but they were literally only 25 pence. And if you haven't tried Hello Pandas before, I would recommend them. 
they're probably not as special as they are in my head but I think because they were quite rare when I was younger and I quite liked them back then and they're quite expensive and you often have to go to like a Chinese import shop to get them um, it's just kind of exciting seeing them so cheap now in um, Home Bargain so yeah definitely try these if you haven't Okay, and that is everything that I bought in Home Bargains. As I said, not like the hugest haul I've ever done, um, but I don't wanna be buying a lot of stuff I don't need, obviously. Um, but yeah, I still like to show you what is in there and you know, just in case you're looking for anything similar. And if you're like me, you just love seeing anything that anyone's buying, even if it's just like cleaning products. Um, I guess that just happens as we get older, we like to look at that more, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon. Bye.